problem two. The remainder is resulting after a whole number dividing 70, 110, 160 adds up to 50. What is this whole number? If you've seen the previous um, lessons I've given you, or if you perhaps you have taken lessons like this before, you will know to really pay attention to the wording here. It didn't say divided by, it says dividing. So whenever you have something like this, uh, let's say the whole number is capitalized A. So it would not be A divided by 70, but instead 70 divided by A. So is 110 divided by A and 106 divided by A. So each of these had remainders. So the remainders was, we don't know them, but we know it's X, but we can set it as X, Y, and Z. So X, Y, and Z adds up to 50. So X plus, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So X plus, y plus z is equal to 50. So if we add together all the remainders, we should also add together the, div the dividend as well. So the dividend adds together to 340. 340 divided by a is equal, it has a remainder of 50. So if we subtract 50 from the dividend, which is 290, uh, 209 divided by a would have a remainder of zero. So a, in other words, is a factor of 290. So there are multiple different uh, possibilities for a right now. There's one, 290, two, 145, five, 58, 10, 29. And here, if you test all of these out, you'll find that, that this whole number can only be 29. So we have a final answer there. And really, it's by the time we have all these possibilities, it's really just simple. Because you just have to see if it really makes, lets the rest of these equations make sense. So our final answer is 29. And I think the key part of this is, well, there's really nothing too tough about this I mean use in here we used the the first property which was the sum of remainders is equal to the remainder of sum so thank you for watching if you enjoyed your kids and see you in our next video